boot from ISO image. So now that we've got our ISO image over to our ESX server, we can mount it and boot from it with our virtual machine. You only have to do that once, and really you're going to copy all of your ISO images over to your ESX server once because you only have so many operating systems. And then you'll be done. And then you can just mount it real quick and it's much, much quicker and it's faster to build your server. I'm going to right click on my test server 1 and I'll scroll down and let's select edit settings. And I'm going to highlight my CD DVD drive and now I'm going to go down to data store ISO file. Select browse. And we put it in VM images slash tools slash ISO images. And this is the one I copied over. Click OK. And this is key. You want to check Connect it Power On. If you don't do that, then it's not going to see the ISO image. Click OK. And now we can actually right click on the server. Let's go ahead and open the console because we want to see it boot up. Expand it out. And I'll just press the play button to power it on. And it's going to power up. And notice that our option for our CD-ROM isn't up here because we've already mounted it to a particular ISO image. And it boots directly into the boot CD. So that's the best way I think to build your servers from scratch. Now what we're going to get into later on is actually building our server images and then cloning them off because really you don't want to go through this build process every single time you want a server. So we'll take a look at that further down the line. But this is how you would build it from scratch initially. Did you know that after watching our videos you can sign up for a week of remote access to our VMware lab? It's custom built and allows you to actually practice on enterprise grade VMware servers and storage. VIadmin.com provides a remote server environment or VMware practice lab composed of vSphere ready lab servers for class or individual use. You can sign up at www.viadmin.com for access to the lab. You get one dedicated server with lots of memory, plenty of network cards, co-training servers in a cluster, two shared SAN LANs, management station, and a KVM controller to manage your server. Within the VMware lab, you can set up any scenario including multipathing, high availability, vMotion, fault tolerance, DRS, create 10, 15, or more virtual machines, and test all of the VMware advanced features. One more thing, we have an instructor-led vSphere training consisting of live mentoring, e-labs, and e-lectures, all delivered online. The training offers the professional a specialized tutoring platform that isn't available elsewhere and includes a schedule that matches your particular needs, live one-to-one -one tuition with an instructor, various labs, and Q&A sessions, and the chance to master VMware virtual infrastructure on a real-life teaching environment. Our VMware virtual mentoring goes far beyond mere video teaching. With access to a live tutor, you'll be helped through the different labs and you'll have an opportunity to ask questions and learn even more. So if you're really looking to gain hands-on VMware experience, you've come to the right place. Sign up for VMware Lab, self-managed access, or join one of our instructor-led trainings today. Thanks for watching. Oh, I forgot to mention, we have a special YouTube subscribers bonus. When you sign up for access to our VMware Lab, Send us your YouTube username and we'll give you an in-depth, easy to follow, step-by-step -step lab book with lots of exercises and over 200 pages of top quality training for free.